Hi, today we are going to look at an interesting problem which involves fractions uh, and we are going to solve that problem using model method and you will find that how easy it is to use model method and also how we are able to easily visualize what, what is happening behind the scenes when we uh, solve a problem. Let's read this question. Caitlin used some beads to make a bracelet. So we do not know how many beads she used some beads to make a bracelet. And two by five of the remaining beads to decorate her artwork. So that's the second part of this. For these two, if we were to draw a model for this, Caitlin used some beads, but we do not know how many beads, right? So this portion is what was used for bracelet we do not know how much or how many beads she used and two-fifths of the remaining beads to decorate her artwork meaning that the remaining should be divided into five parts and she used two parts out of the remain remaining five parts right to decorate her artwork she found that she was left with 4 over 9 of the beads she originally had. She originally had these many beads. If you look at it, she had these many beads. So if you take this total and divide it into 9 equal parts, right? What was left was equal to 4 of the parts out of the total 9 parts. Here you can see that the four parts out of the nine parts, basically these four parts is actually shown as three parts in the first diagram here. So now we know that these two are equal in total amount or size, but the way they are divided is different. So if we need to make sense or we be able to compare uh, these two, we should actually divide them into uh, equal parts. First, to, this is to show that this 4 out of the total 9 is what is left right now, which is equal to these 3 units here. So here you have 3 units, here you have 4 units. And we want to subdivide them so that we are able to have unit sizes units of the same size so the method we use is LCM lowest common multiple now if we divide these uh, three units uh, that is each unit into four parts we will get 12 parts totally similarly here if we divide the four parts into three parts each we will get 12 parts again so once we have 12 parts here and 12 parts here or 12 units here and 12 units here which are of smaller sizes the unit sizes are going to be the same and it becomes easy for us to uh, compare and make inferences based on that so we can see here uh, each of these units we are going to divide it into four parts Similarly here, each of the units we are dividing it into three parts. Now you can see that the unit sizes are going to be the same. And so we'll fill the rest of this here with four uh, for each of them. So totally you will have uh, 12 units here and same here, 12 units here. If you think that while solving the problem, it's going to be difficult to really, you know, exactly divide them into 12 units, the best Solution I would suggest is actually you can just write them down as okay. This is four units This is the next four units and this is the next four units Same for here as well So that makes it easy for you to count the number of units at the end when you need it right and so here if I'm able to uh, divide these units into three smaller units I can do the same for the rest of the units as well right and now when I do that I can easily make out that this portion here is what is equal to the number of beads that was used for 
the bracelet. So that is represented by this many number of units. We can count and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units here. All right? And so that's seven units. Now, the question, given that the total number of beads she had used for her bracelet and the number of beads she had left with, the number of beads she had used for her bracelet is seven units right now. The remaining unit that she's left with is this much here, which is equal to 12 units. So the in between you have eight units here. Uh, what she, what uh, the question actually tells us is that the number of beads she had used for the bracelet, which is seven units, and the number of beads she had left, which is the 12 units, those two together equals 209. So t seven units plus 12 units is equal to 209 beads. So totally that comes to 19 units, which is equal to 209 and one unit equals 209 divided by 19, which is 11. So seven units plus 12 units is equal to 209, and seven plus 12 comes to 19 units, which is equal to 209. One unit is 209 divided by 19, which gives you uh, 11 beats. So one unit here is equivalent to 11 beads. How many beads did Caitlin have at first? At first she had all of these. So that means 7 plus 8 plus 12 which is 27 units. And each unit represents 11 beads. So 27 units will represent 27 times 11 which is equal to 297 beads. So the total number of beads with Caitlin at first was 297 beads. I hope this was helpful. Uh, we tried to solve this as quick as possible using models method and you will find that model method makes it very easy to solve these kind of problems. Uh, and as suggested, you might think that it is going to be difficult to draw these kind of uh, smaller boxes. All we need to know is how many are there and the, how many uh, are they going to be divided into. Uh, and we can just mark them here as to like four units, four units, four units, here is three units, three units, three units, and three units. So if we do that, that, uh, that should do when, as far as uh, solving the problem is concerned. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. Uh, share this video with your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I update a new video. Thank you. Have a great day.